Hi, this is Roger from Kanker Labs, and in our today's uh, episode of What Every Maker Should Have, it's about uh, component and semiconductor testers or analyzers. Uh, we will do an uh, extensive comparison of these four types that I have available here, but this will be a separate uh, video and uh, just to show you the uh, conclusion, uh, what you should buy when you're on a budget, it's uh, this one here, which you can get either from our shop or from eBay. Um, the advantage is not only the, uh, the low price, but except for semiconductors, it also can test passive components, resistors, capacitors, and even inductors. And uh, let me show you after I take out this N-channel MOSFET, if we put in um, a small inductor, if it can recognize it and measure its value. And as you can see, it's uh, 2.33 millihenries and it even shows the uh, ESR, uh, the uh, DC resistance of 23.2 ohms. So this little thing that is uh, usually sold under the name of FISH 808040 um, is really the best bang for a buck. It's even a kind of mini LCR meter. Um, and uh, it's small, compact, handy, has a graphic LCD, backlighted, works with a 9 volt battery as you can see. Um, of course, there are some disadvantages, but uh, as I already said, uh, it's really the best bang for bucks you can get. And that was it for a short introduction. Uh, subscribe to our channel if you want to see the full comparison of all the four semiconductor testers. And in a future episode, we will also compare some semiconductor curve tracers. So that was it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye from Kanka Labs. Bye from Roger.